first of all, there's the check engine light, and here's what it says. Engine malfunction, reduced power. Um, I don't think my power is reduced. Now, I'm just in regular drive mode, not in sports mode. And uh, check it out. If I, if I kind of gun it, it picks up pretty nicely. I mean, if this is reduced power, I'm not complaining. Um, so anyways, let me tell you how this now, came Earlier up. this week, I decided to go off the highway ramp, um, you know, just kind of like accelerating a little bit uh, higher than just normal type of driving so that you could actually switch over safely into uh, the highway. And this uh, check engine light came on. It was a little bit, um, how should I say, a little bit scary, I guess, thinking that, like, well, what is this, really? Plus, it says reduce power. So, I tried to get rid of this light just by, you know, clicking on my computer and stuff like that. Well, obviously, that's not going to work. Um, then I connected uh, my Carly unit, and I deleted the code. And since then, I was able to drive, I don't know, a few hundred miles, well, maybe, like, 800 miles at least, without this check engine light coming on. So, I realized that if I just drive peacefully, it does not come on. So, what is this code, really? Well, I'm going to display it on the screen to show you what really came up. Uh, the code might be a little bit strange, uh, the actual numbers of the code, but uh, it does have to do uh, with some kind of vacuum leak, maybe like not a huge vacuum leak but somewhat of a vacuum leak um, along with this problem before it even came on I do hear um, just a little bit of wastegate rattle uh, it's real apparent when it's idling uh, while it's cold and at the same time even when I'm driving kind of slowly uh, on each acceleration very slow acceleration I hear kind of like little jerk, well, not here, I feel jerking, it's like, t -t 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 like, like it's jerking. It almost feels like it's fuel injector related, hopefully it's not, but um, I do think that possibly the waste gate, waste gate uh, turbo waste gate has something to do with that, um, and obviously like a vacuum leak. Now, you be the judge, I'm going to uh, stick some of this um, information up here. Uh, in my video, that way you could guys, you, you guys could actually see uh, what codes I'm getting. Um, other than that, the car actually drives very good, and let me show you again, kind of like how it accelerates uh, with this code being present. So here you go. I'm just gonna slow down just uh, a tiny bit, just in regular drive mode. does feel a little bit reduced but I'm not complaining I mean it's still accelerating quite fast but it was accelerating much faster it was like much more lively or before this chicken July started coming out but still though this is driving uh, way above and beyond any type of a normal car so let's see I'm gonna slow down just uh, a little bit again Yeah, like you could tell, it's uh, it's not as lively, but still it accelerates, uh, you know, not bad. Uh, let me hit it in the sports mode. So I got it into sports mode right now. It, uh, it does pretty good, I suppose guys I'm going to get underneath the hood and I'm going to inspect the vacuum lines just to see kind of like what's going on I will be kind of digging in uh, today I'm going to be re removing the intake manifold uh, it's going to give me a lot more access and one of the things I'm going to be doing in uh, one of the videos is replacing my starter so while I'm doing that and giving myself uh, some room I do want to make sure that I take a look at my uh, airlines, uh, vacuum air, vacuum lines. I want to make sure that 
they're okay. Uh, I'm gonna look for cracks and uh, some stuff being off. But still, uh, I'll tell you what, guys, this car has uh, been uh, one of the funnest uh, cars that I've had in, in a while. Uh, it's, it's quite nice and a pleasure to drive. Now, I'll tell you what, even though it, it's reduced power, it still drives great. Before this reduced power, guys, man, like, it did feel like it accelerates so much more faster. Like, it, it felt like I had, like, 500 horsepower in this thing. I mean, now it's still pretty good. I will give um, one more kind of, like, acceleration test uh, in this video. Uh, just from a standstill to, like, 60 miles an hour just to show you guys kind of like what that looks like right, guys while i'm at it i'm going to tell you some other problems that i have uh there's a slight little problem with the ac that i'm having um i did add some freon yesterday just added maybe like half a bottle and it seemed like my ac is uh, blowing colder but the problem that i am having is it's not blowing very hard out of the uh you know like the the driver side um well, the vents that are in the middle, you know, that's supposed to be blowing at the driver. But with that being said, I don't think it's blowing hard anywhere. Like not the window, uh, not not for the feet. Even though if you set it like on the very loudest mode, it just seems like it's just blowing away for like no reason. And it's just uh, very soft. And um, it does feel like it's not as cool as it was yesterday. I mean, it's somewhat manageable right now it's only like 87 uh, outside and I'm able to drive with my uh, windows closed but I am sweating a little bit um, just like on my face and everything uh, and another problem I'm having is uh, rear brake uh, sensors uh, wear so I'm going to need to replace my rear brakes so this is some of the services that I'll be doing brakes AC starter looking for vacuum leaks and there's other problems that I have as well that I'm going to be looking at. So far, this is the current problems. Engine malfunction, reduce power, replace rear brakes, set time and date because I replaced the battery, left front fog lamp malfunction, and increased battery discharge. Not to mention a uh, tire on the left rear is getting deflated kind of fast. Yeah, obviously my starter needs replacing. I know I already said that. I had it tested and the starter does need to be replaced. And that being said, the alternator was tested. That's not doing too good either. So it looks like that's going to be something I'll need to replace. Now, why am I showing you this right now uh, with what's going on? So what I just done is I went ahead and I shut down the vehicle and it did start back up i was thinking like will it start back up uh because of my starter situation it did start back up and guess what the check engine light kind of deleted itself as you could see it is no longer here now let's see what is the service due uh yeah that one so you got to see the dealer i guess and rear brake pads but anyways guys that's up hey guys i wanted to make a quick little addition uh to the video i've been trying to save some money and i've been putting 89 instead of premium like 93 uh type of uh, octane fuel and i've been noticing my economy is fuel economy has been going down I was getting about 25.7 with uh premium and i will update you what the actual fuel economy on the 89 but right now it's showing 14.3 after I reset it and I'm doing a lot of city driving. But the main thing I want to tell you guys is what I've noticed after putting uh, 89 octane uh, in my BMW. I noticed- Continue on Randolph Road for one mile. I'm getting some jerkiness and I really don't like it. It doesn't feel good. It's like, duh, 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 you know, some jerkiness. And I first thought maybe that's just something going on with my car. Maybe some performance issues. I'm not sure. But then yesterday I put premium fuel in it, uh, the whole thing, because I almost was out. And then that jerkin has disappeared. It started driving good again. I'm thinking, hmm, was that just kind of like off and on type of thing? So guess what? Then I got to half a tank of fuel. So half of it would be premium. And then I put the 89 back in it. Immediately, like, I don't know, within like five miles, I started noticing slight jerkiness, slight jerkiness. And I just really don't like how it feels. It also feels a little bit slower. So I wanna show you just kind of like uh, that fuel economy, you can see like 14.6 right now. So it's kinda, it's not that great. 
and I'm just doing a lot of city driving uh, and the acceleration's not that good and I really can't do much accelerating in this area.